Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Paso said there's a good place to Look hide in the back. I'm just trying to stay calm. Oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. You okay? Yeah. Let's go. I guess this is it. No, keep going. So pregnant. You gotta be shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? Just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse procure por toda parte. Temos que achar menina e o americano também. Está esperando o quê? Down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? Bola, bola, vamos ver isso, puta. Vamos ver aí, lá. They're going to kill us. Giovanna, just wait there. I'm going to be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, get down. Oh, I made him
riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. Oh my God, Max! What? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcello thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Broncos' security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey, if we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready. You got it? Yeah. Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Janaba. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! He's going to the Sakada! room? Yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. Had to be an easier way out of there than the way I came in. I was getting good at this. Something.
saw. There must be a way to drop those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Good. Get to my unhappy place. Come on, let's get the hell away from here. Go on, it's okay. I'm right behind you. There's someone down there. day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Here for fossils? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Driven a 
bus before? Of course I haven't. Ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's driver shoot, sister. Right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shoot. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word, I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me. Now go. Jump. Go. I was just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. 
Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things that got real heavy. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max. Max. Come on. The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was 